Hi, I'm Mike Amusio, video road test editor for Kelly Blue Book, and I, along with good friend Mike Delano behind the camera, have been sent to San Antonio, Texas to pick up our Suzuki Equator long-term test truck. Ouch, that's hot. We were uh, supposed to do a video on this thing and our original Thelma and Louise concept. Both Mike and I were a little uncomfortable with it. So hopefully the American Southwest provides us with enough entertainment options to make a whole video out of. So Suzuki has entrusted us with their new Suzuki Equator pickup truck for about the next six months, which will give us a really good chance to figure out what the vehicle's actually like. But another great way to get a feel for what a vehicle's like is to drive it thousands of miles through America's desolate southwest. Boy, is it desolate out there. Our car is equipped with the 4-liter V6, 261 horsepower, 268 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it'll tow up to 6,500 pounds. It actually seems to be doing a good job. Uh, we're cruising at a steady 80 miles an hour, and it's quiet enough that I don't have to scream at the camera to be heard. There's plenty of headroom. There's also a really uh, roomy, really roomy, there's a roomy enough back seat. I think if you had to throw a couple of guys back there, you know, going up to like a ski trip or something like that, uh, they'd be fine. And if they complain, they're wusses anyways. They shouldn't be driving in a truck. One of the things I like about traveling on the road is getting regional beverages and food. You know, Big Red started in Waco, Texas, so I always think of it when I come to Texas, so that's delicious. Mm. You can really taste the red. I found this in a gas station, and I'm not sure what to expect, but with a name like Pickle Pulp, it has to be good. Let's give this a go. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm gonna have more of this big red. I don't know if that's very good. <coughs> oh God, it burns. <laughs> it's so bad. Mike Musio, and that's Bat Guano. So if you needed a pickup truck, why would you choose the Suzuki Equator? Especially considering the fact that behind its front end and a couple of Suzuki badges, it's essentially a Nissan Frontier. Well, Suzuki has two answers. One, six airbags standard. That's not all that common in the, the mid-size pickup truck category. The other reason, the Suzuki Equator comes with a standard seven-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. So those are a couple of compelling reasons, but perhaps the biggest reason, you ride a Suzuki, you want to drive a Suzuki. So Suzuki's betting that fans of their ATVs and motorcycles are going to be so rabid that they're going to have to go out and buy a Suzuki pickup truck. I don't know if people are going to be that enthusiastic about the Suzuki brand. Yeah! Our Equator is the RMZ4 trim, which is the most capable off-road iteration of the Equator. And while I don't think we'll have much of an opportunity to use it back in Los Angeles, as long as we're here in the middle of Arizona, we may as well make some use. First things first, there's this really easy knob. You can just flip it over to four wheel high. That's really simple. And if you're going up really hard stuff, push it in, flip it over to four low. And if you're really going up difficult stuff, press that and you lock the rear differential. Here's
here's a little bit of blood, and here's a uh, nifty swollen spot on my leg where I got hit by a cactus, thus proving that the equator is more competent off-road than I am. So far I'm impressed with the Suzuki Equator. It's proved to be a perfectly fine long distance traveling vehicle and also just really good off road. Uh, so there's a lot to like. One complaint, I would really like an auxiliary input. Suzuki, can we make that happen? We did it. We made it all the way from San Antonio, Texas, all the way back here to beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, specifically Long Beach. We got about 15 to 17 miles per gallon on the freeway, sometimes 18. Not too good, we could have done better in a car, but then we wouldn't have been able to haul back our little prize from Texas. Can't wait to show it to the guys at work tomorrow, and gals. We thought about you on our trip. We brought back something for the office. I hope you guys like it. Pickle pulp, anyone? For more automotive news, please visit the latest news section of KBB.com.